Okay, buddy, praise the Lord. Today I'm coming to you with you because it's important that we know about the great deception. Now, I want to go over the great deception listed in Matthew 24, chapter. Jesus said, the deception will deceive so many people. He said, he said um, it could even deceive the elect of God. So, you have to realize that we have to follow the Bible completely, Old and New Testaments. The new evangelical churches, they kicked out the Old Testament like crazy. And they told people on, t on TV that they don't have to obey the Old Testament. And many, many, many Christians are getting tattoos today, and that is my problem today. We must address that right now. If you get a tattoo, that could be the mark of the beast. Do not get a tattoo. But the new government tattoo is the mark of the beast. Other tattoos can also be the mark of the beast because a lot of people have those horn tattoos on their faces and their necks. I mean, they have dragons on their backs and everything. And the Word of God says in Leviticus 19.28, do not get marks on your body. Revelation 14.9, 9, if you get that mark, you burn in hell. So please do not listen to mainstream Christianity, evangelical churches anymore. Most of them are Baptists, some Methodists, some Presbyterians, some Episcopalians, some Catholics, all that kind of stuff. Reject those, please. And listen to the Apostolic Pentecostal people because we are the ones that only write people. Oh Don't get man. tattoos. That's oh. of the devil. Satanism is alive. It's very sad. They get multiple piercings all over their ears. They get nose rings hanging down. They get earrings all in their eyebrows, on their cheeks. I mean, it's horrible. It is horrible what's happening. Tattoos and multiple piercings is Satanism. Pure Satanism. It's called, it's called, it's called occultness. Um, witches and stuff like that. So please reject it in Jesus' name. Now, I'm praying for you right now in Jesus' name. That is the great deception. They kicked out baptism in 19, around 1960-something with Billy Graham and his people and all those people who were associated with him. And the Catholic Church, they, they still have their, um, their type of baptism, the Trinitarian baptism. And some of the Baptist people also, they kept baptism. But the main stream Christianity kicked out baptism. It promotes Romans 10-9, which is false. They put one scripture and says this is how you're going to be saved based on one scripture. You know it's a dang lie. Because why would God create ten commandments and say that you, you can only be saved by one thing in the New Testament? So that's a big fat lie, you guys. That's the great deception also. Jesus said, he that, he that is baptized will be saved. He that is not will be damned. Uh, Acts 38, Peter preached the gospel. Jesus said, on this rock I'll build my church. He said, thou art Peter. On this rock I'll build my church. And the gates of hell will not prevail against it. So listen to Jesus Christ. Obey Peter. Acts. 238. Repent and be baptized every one of you in the name of Jesus Christ for the mission of your sins. And you shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. And throughout the Bible, people are getting the Holy Spirit. God can heal you of AIDS. He can heal you of Alzheimer's. He can heal you of Ebola. Anything. Cancer. Anything. I have seen it. The miracles in my life. Christians. Signs. Wonders. These cessations. They're called cessations, you guys. Cessationism is dead in Jesus' name. Let's get it done. Just call on the name of Jesus and you will speak in tongues too. And then you can baptize yourself at home if you if you want to. Baptize yourself. Just say in the name of Jesus Christ. Go under the water. If you don't have anybody that you, you know near you that can baptize you. Because it's time for the revival. Because Jesus Christ is coming soon because of the war. Have you not heard that China has built a car, Beltline project all the way to London, England? What's that, guys? That's War Road, guys. Look at the international news on Al Jazeera TV. This is real. This is not fake. The U.S. government is not putting uh, chips tattoos in people's hands and on their right foreheads. The U.S. military. This is serious. You get a tattoo, you burn in hell. Do not listen to evangelical Christians. They are liars. They promote the Antichrist doctrine because they don't believe the Bible anymore. They keep that old and, and parts of the New Testament too, y'all. Y'all don't know. It's two Jesus of the Christian faith. I'm writing a book about it. So please read it. I have a book called Revolution of Jesus' Name. Read it and learn it. The Revolution of Jesus' Name, um, God Him with AIDS, Baptism of Love. Baptism of Love and um, God Him with AIDS, it's the same thing. I just renamed it. And so it's two books. You can buy either one of them. It's the same thing. It's just the same, same information for you. But the Revolution of Jesus' Name is different. And it's got two different It's got um, two different titles. One says Revolution of Jesus' Name, um, Miracles, Signs, and Wonders. And one says um, Breakthrough, Revolution of Jesus' Name. So please, please, please get the book. It's going to be awesome. All right. It's, it's awesome. I love you so very much. Don't get any tattoos. Don't get those piercings. The Word of God says God put the earrings on our ears, not on our eyebrows noses and our foreheads and all kind of places don't do that so if you have earrings on your ears you know Ezekiel does not condemn you but it's not the outward adorning that makes us holiness so just remember that outward adorning does not make us holy but it's the inward heart of your heart and painting our faces and all that kind of stuff is not what God wants us to do um, holy but it's okay in some different contexts as long as it's modest you know, because a bride doing stuff for her husband, we know that. So, and Jesus, I pray. I love you so much. Jesus, I pray. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Amen.